I'm going to do a video about um, when the tables turned for the first time in my um, sort of party lifestyle. So I used to be one of these people who would just always be hanging around at parties like as long as possible. Very rare would I be the person who would be like, it's been a nice night, but I need to get back. Um, so, I'll see you guys soon, you know. Um, I would stay until the, the last, um, the last possible moment, which wasn't a very good look. Um, but there was one moment where everything changed and suddenly I started um, I, I was actually the one to leave the party first and it's quite an extreme case but basically I used to work in this nightclub and everyone in that nightclub just you know obviously quite a party environment so everyone was quite um, like a bit crazy you know what I mean um, so um, it was the end of a shift and we closed at six o'clock but bear in mind close in the morning Cl but, but close that's when we got everyone out or that's when we started to get everyone out you know that's when the DJ said right guys time to go home been a lovely night six o'clock in the morning right and then you gotta get everyone out which took a long time then when everyone was finally out, you had to clean the floor. You had to put away all the bins, you know, tidy everything up. Um, <clears throat> so realistically, it was about an hour uh, when we finished. And um, I remember sitting, we had a drink after work. And um, I was thinking, like, I've bitten a bit too much off to chew with this shift um you know the hours are a bit too much uh, i was exhausted and um i um we all had a drink afterwards um to unwind and uh i was i didn't i didn't really i wanted to go home to be honest but i thought i'll stay for a drink you know i'll be nice and um Everyone was just so awake um, and like ready to like, you know, like we were preying for a fucking party when it was like <laughs> the morning after the night, you know, it was crazy. Um, and, you know, people started talking about getting a spoon's breakfast People were, you know, getting, like, several drinks, doing poppers, stuff like that. Um, and it's funny, it was a really weird experience because any other time, I would be so on it. But just this one time, I was like, actually, this is... Uh, I've got other things I need to do. I can't be wasting my time like this. And eventually I just got up and was like, oh, I've got to go, guys. And they were like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? And I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, I've got to go. Um, so that, that was interesting, being on the other side of it. And um, I suppose the reason I'm making this video is because it gave me a perspective on actually what is gained from leaving early, you know what I mean, not, not, because it's good being the life and soul and everything and, and being the last one to finish, you know, at the end of the night, uh, you know, staying up the latest, but actually, you sacrifice other things, um, And 
you got to stop at some point, really. And turns out my point to stop for me was seven o'clock in the morning um, when everyone was talking about getting a spoon's breakfast. Like that was the that was the stopping point for me. So yeah, maybe you've had a similar point where you've realised it's too much, and that you actually, if you didn't realise it at first, it's like because you because because before that it's like something else would stop me. You know, like I would I would um you know the party would end or the person I came with wanted me to come back with it, you know, or, um, you know, whatever it was. Um, meanwhile, this time it was like, um, you know, there was, uh, if anything, there was encouragement for me to stay. Um, and the volition, the sort of desire came from me. So yeah, I hope you found this interesting.